Okay, so as we went through yesterday, are there great secrets being held? This was uh, something a lot of people didn't catch on the way they did the reflection on the poster for the Da Vinci Code. And of course, what is the eye in the triangle on top of the pyramid? Uh, is there a message is being given that we're not fully getting access to? Gore's inconvenient truth, sure, that looks like smoke, not. That looks like a galaxy. And here's the Milky Way from the top down. Uh, there's our sun, so you can see this is about where we are. So we're not all the way out at the edge, we're kind of in the middle. But doesn't this look sort of like crosshairs to sort of point towards the galactic center and suggest that there's some sort of galactic alignment that's going on here? So later in this talk, you're going to hear about interplanetary climate change, which is how this movement into a new area of energy in our galaxy is in fact actually causing all the planets in the solar system to experience changes just like the ones we see on Earth. So this is far from an isolated phenomenon. There's also these new physics discoveries that keep leaking out, and they always relate to sacred geometry. The idea in this case of the dodecahedron, which is 12 pentagonal faces that kind of looks like a soccer ball if you make it into a sphere. They actually found out, uh, these scientists uh, discovered that the background radiation from when the universe was first created has arranged itself into this odd geometric pattern. And that's been proven. So then the question is, OK, what is the force that would cause that type of geometry to emerge in the formation of the universe? As we're going into the 2012 subject, of course, crop circles have been on everybody's mind. This was the formation that came down a couple years ago, which started out in an unfinished way. You notice that all of these blocks are completely solid, and this area is solid as well. Well, the circle makers, whoever they are, came back. And when they came back, this is what we got. Now you have time markings and symbols from the Mayan calendar, OK? And the alignment of these winged disks in terms of what markers they're pointing to, which corresponds to the Mayan system and the Aztec system, gave you an exact time reference of the length of time between when this was created and 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar. So this is a self-referential 2012 diagram given to us by whoever is behind the circle phenomenon.